Whoa. Oh, perfect timing. How's it going, everybody? So, me and John just got done with a run. How do you... <laughs> you all sweaty? Yeah. Oh, look at you. This shirt, you really can't see sweat too well. But you can kind of oh, see it. you can kind of, like... <laughs> it's funny, that's how you can tell how much you ran. Let's see the back. How about the back? <laughs> Cheating there? Oh. Let's see the back. <clears throat> you know that here? Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah you can kind of see it's... Yeah, it's darker. 1.83 miles. <laughs> Day two of it, too. Last time I ran with dress pants on, and it was ridiculous. And I had Taco Bell before. That was the worst decision ever. Yeah, that's a horrible combination. Well, okay, so John was coming outside, and he decided to surprise me, because I was like, oh, it's rush hour, I'll just come to your house, and I'll just wait until you come home from work. Well, he got home early, thought he'd go for a run, saw my car, came, said hi, I was stuffing my mouth full of food, and mm -hmm. he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, well, I'm waiting for you to get home, and I'm like, he's like, well, I'm gonna go for a run. I'm like, well, I was planning to go to Best Buy, and he just gives me the saddest look ever and goes, I wanna go. I wanna go. <laughs> so we ran to Best Buy. Yeah. Don't we do that every day? Ugh, my nipples. The whole time they're just <laughs> friction against the shirt. All right, so what are we seeing tonight? You can announce it. I'm a survivor. 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 Yeah, so it's got a zero, you said? Zero percent, currently. But doesn't it have an audience, like, for some reason? 30, because 30 percent. It's, yeah. So it's supposed to be on Blu-ray. I don't know if, was it supposed to go to Blu-ray first? And it comes out It in... just for some odd reason went to select movies? Yeah, like, Family Video, Family Video gets it, like, in a couple weeks in their stores. So I think it comes out then. So all that just means movie's not good, the studio doesn't believe in it, but we believe in it. Well, well which, which one we'll call it? I can't think after I run. What's it? Support it. That's the... Support, yeah. That's terrible. <laughs> Sun really got to my brains. Because we supported November Man. Yeah. What did we get? This. Yeah. We got to keep Pierce in uh, business. And he's a bad guy. He's an assassin. So it's Resident Evil versus James Bond. Yeah. Sweet. And it's two of those movies of Pierce comes out, and we still haven't gotten another James Bond. Exactly. So it takes that better. long to produce James Bond, but yet we can kind of get a an agent movie out out of Pierce at least. Ugh. I'm happy he's doing that, and not like Mamma Mia. <laughs> I like Mamma Mia. <laughs> <laughs> well, those happy days Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> See you at some point. Ricky's Rocket Fuel Center. What'd you get, John? You got what'd you get? Always um, and rice and nuts. And I got some some uh, M&Ms, peanut butter. What'd you get, Ryan? My sweet puns. Oh, oh, they're they're priceless. <laughs> yeah, Ryan's here. Hey! Oh. Ooh. You guys ready for the movie? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I look so confused. Like one eye is going in the other one. Guys, Arg, we're, about, we're about to see a zero percent movie. Yeah. I've never seen one before. I think the only one I've ever heard of is the that Dicky something with the Nick Swardston. The porn star movie. Yeah, we could talk and talk all we want, but we're gonna forget about the movie then, <laughs> so. Quick. Really quick. I wanna take a guess. I'll let you guys go first. It'll be good. Okay, okay, yeah, we, we can do pre, like, what do you think, but my question is, how many people do you think are gonna be in there? And you guys can guess too. Any guesses? Anybody? Like, are we gonna be the only three? There'll be a couple. I'm a zero. I'm guessing zero. So there's gonna be a couple in there, like two people, like a couple, couple? Of people. like a, oh okay, like a couple. Well, I need a number. What? This is this is two. I'll go you can five. go with one, which is you, you're one. not playing the odds there, but no, I, I, no, I'm go I'm going to go with seven. Oh my god! <laughs> and this is including us. This is including us. Oh, you're including us. Yes, okay. I'm including us. To be uh. Well, keep in mind, this is Eight. the only theater Eight. that's You're going to one-up me. You're going to one-up me. Really? I guess I, I can go six, then, and be safe. 
What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, you're going seven. You're going, you're going this is why I never wanted to go on the price. So right. <laughs> basically, I won't win because if it's way lower, John's closer, yeah, and if it's higher, lower. he's gonna. Yeah. Why, why am I the middle? All right, spin? fine. I'll be zero. No, no. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You're still low. So here's the well, thing: if you win, closest. like <laughs> if if I'm sp I'm spot on, then uh, yeah. Okay, so then how about this? If you win, we'll go out for ribs. <laughs> I bet you're banking that you're really hoping that I win, aren't you? He, he's in a rib mood. How about whoever wins gets a cake that we all share? So there's cake. There's cake and You're involved. not getting out of this. <laughs> what? I know I owe you guys. John cake. still owes us cake. <laughs> yeah. There were, we had a band anniversary. And it was my turn. It was my year to buy the cake, and I never bought a cake. <laughs> we were so gay. Sounds so weird, right? <laughs> Really sweet once you get to know us, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, any pre thoughts to the, the movie? Pierce Brosnan, James Bond. <laughs> Actually, this would be the second non James Bond Pierce Brosnan movie I would see. Yeah, no yeah. wonder, man. You gotta see Mamma Mia, though. I saw clips of it. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I showed you. But as me and John were talking about before, it's nice seeing him do this and not another Mamma Mia. So yeah. it's nice that he's doing secret agent kind of. I'm he's an assassin. I'm so. kind of scared. Zero, 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 zero percent. It's going down. I think we're gonna. I'm a little worried that he's not gonna be in it a lot. Like, well, we'll see. There's a car that just pulled up next to us, and I'm. Is she pretty? I don't know. Do you see? I'm usually not into white girls. See. Is she white? I, I, I can't tell. I, I kind of yeah. got to focus. Okay, so we're hoping it's good. Yeah. 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 Thumbs up. Yeah. All right, so we're out of the movie. Brian has something to explain. Uh, so, <laughs> John, feel free to jump in at any point here. Or your side. That's so I mean, John. John said the story in Wasting Money One. So Ryan's turn to say this because I so think it's gonna weird. be interesting coming from him. Huh. That's so weird. <laughs> That's all. So, okay. So John went out with this girl a while back. I won't say any names. Rachel. <laughs> 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 John, she's a rich. And, um, I, I didn't know this, but I talked to her as well. And then when I showed a picture of who I was talking to to John, John's like, oh, I went out with her at one point. So, I'm like, okay. And bo That's both met her on a dating site. Yes. Um... So, yeah, um, met up with her once, and, um, I mean, we're still talking, still obviously good terms and stuff, but, um, she also messaged you multiple times, and, um, so, other thing also, she doesn't know that we all know each other. So, we were buying the movie tickets, and, um, we all, she walks in. <laughs> it's not her, that's a Mexican. <laughs> an old Mexican man. Was, so, he, was she by herself or with her parents or she was with another guy <laughs> <laughs> and Ryan's still talking to her like yeah. I told him like in the theater because okay that's another thing there's only four people so you won okay here yeah oh I'll join in now oh <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. okay so waste of money two is caught up with the story there are four people in the theater one person joined us. So we don't. Wins? We who don't. Wins? Well, we don't know if he was actually watching the movie. He could have been, uh, you know, diddling himself. Yeah. All right. Well, I still win <laughs> either way. 
Oh boy. <laughs> so oh oh okay. So this girl who will ren um who will remain Rachel, I mean nameless. Uh who cares? It's not like I'm saying her last name, Ray. Oh, no. Beep that out. Uh no. Uh you texted her. Yeah, I told Ryan, I'm like, you should text her, see, like, say, like, hey, how's it going? Like, what you up to? Or, see, I yeah. saw you. Why were, who were you with? No reply, though? No reply. How could she reply, though? She's with another guy. And she's also probably watching a movie that could be longer than what we saw. Yeah. Okay, well, you'll probably get a reply tomorrow. Keep us updated. <laughs> but I still find it funny, though, like, my, on my profile, it has a picture of the band. So it's all three of like all three of us are in it, and it's yeah. like, she was at your house, dude. In my basement, <laughs> every time. Yeah. No. It's like, funny how that was the highlight of the movie too. Like, coming like, here. Oh right, the we gotta say the review yeah. of the movie. Yeah, we saw the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I think what we just went through is a more interesting plot, at least. Uh, anyway, so we'll keep you updated on the text. Good times. Anyway, okay, so the movie. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't last Airbender horrible. Yeah, I. That's actually <laughs> while the credits were rolling, I'm like, hey, this wasn't as bad as the last Airbender. <laughs> it wasn't like. Oh, uh, it was more like, hey, that wouldn't happen, or would that really happen, or oh, come on, that wouldn't really. Happen. It wasn't. It wasn't horrible. You know, like if I was drunk, I think I would really enjoy it. I just needed to lose a little, a few more brain cells, and I'd be on board. But Pierce Brosnan was was pretty cool. I liked him as a bad guy. I think he was pretty cool. Uh, I couldn't get used to it. Huh? I couldn't get used to it. I've never seen him as a bad guy. Yeah, well, yeah. better than Mamma Mia. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you guys think? Is that her? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, um, I thought it was good. A um, couple things I wasn't totally sure about, so kind of spoilers-ish. No, I, I, yeah, I don't think I know what's going on. Okay. Unless well, like Pierce. Um, God, he's so paranoid. I, <laughs> I think that might have been her that time. Um... The movie. <laughs> um, okay, so there's this one point in the movie where. <laughs> sorry if I keep looking away. Just. Rachel! Oh. Nameless person! <laughs> um, <laughs> so there's this one point in the movie where um, the main character meets up with uh, her blonde friend or whatever. Just like, give me money! And. Uh, Basically, she takes the money from her friend and is just like, all right, sit here, don't move until somebody tells you to get up. So, um, the entire movie goes by. I never did anything with that. She's still sitting there. She may never move until somebody says to move. Well, okay, I think she said that more for the fact that they're evacuating the place. So once, like, a cop comes over and says, come on, ma'am, you got to leave. Then it's not like suspicious. Uh, like it's like them walking out like around together. Like that's what they got her down. She got her down basically so that no one could see that they were talking. But the bad guy could have went to her and just been like, "Get up!" Oh, okay. This is exactly what I was waiting for. <laughs> you know, something like that. But um... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that was a very troubling part of the movie. <laughs> so the. <laughs> So the plot is basically it's a cat cat and mouse between Pierce Brosnan and, and Mila. I show my boobs in every movie except this one. Oh, I was yeah. going to say... Oh, sorry. Go. Um, what I did find interesting... Well, the, the fire did tease it a little bit there when our shirt was on fire. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's close. Um, what I was going to say, though, was I found it interesting. You know when she went to the art area in the beginning? You're mm -hmm. like, oh, you like Underworld stuff. Oh, yeah. 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 Kind of teasing the other movies and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, which I haven't seen, but I caught the reference. Me neither. 
Um, because she was the main character, right? No, yeah, Resident she Evil. No. Oh yeah, I got confused too. I'm with you. Yeah, she yes. was not in Underworld. That was Kate Beckinsale. Yeah. Dennis, what do you think? I liked it. I, I I mean, I'm not a huge fan of it. Was it better than November Man? Jupiter Ascending? Yes. No, not November Man. I'd still say that because I I was a little confused on points. Like, whatever happened to that black dude? That black dude. that that was important. I think he died. I don't know. Well, no, they set the other guy on fire, but kept the other guy because he was the important guy. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So that's what I was wondering about. That. <laughs> that was one thing I was wondering about. The other part that got me kind of confused is. Why did Pierce always have a mustache every once in a while? I th I don't know. Never mind. I thought I had an answer. <laughs> I think that's him as the watchmaker, which is his. So does he other like person. when he gets into his like superhero mode? I guess you could say he puts on his mustache. Yeah, that's it, his Clark Kent. That's his glasses. So so that that sort of is kind of weird. Like the movie, just their disguises were so terrible. Like yes. let me put on a mustache. No one will notice me now. I'm good. Yeah. Same thing with when she went to put on the glasses. Well, yes. I'll, buy, I'll buy these. There you yes. go. Mila, when she's going through the checkout, she's got bruises all over her yeah. face. <laughs> uh, are you okay, ma'am? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a death. It's like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, Mila so, Djordjevic is like this viral sensation. Um, uh, there's a video of her um, murdering someone. Um, and it goes viral. And she walks the streets of London and the streets of New York. No one notices her. Sorry, one Asian couple. But all yeah. the cops that... Notices her. Like, talk to her. Ma'am, you, you gotta get out of here. It's like... Yeah. This is breaking news. And... <laughs> <laughs> Did he make you jump, too? <laughs> he made himself jump. So, I just thought about this. Uh, In the movie... Yeah. They mentioned that she only uh -huh. knew a certain number of languages, right? Yes. Four Did five? they mention the language that she actually spoke yeah, to the I couple? Think so. Did they? I assume. <laughs> yeah, that was your big epiphany? Yeah. Yeah, probably. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but if they didn't. <laughs> if they didn't, then yeah, you exactly. got something there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shame on you, movie, maybe. <laughs> it, it was just. It was poor because, like, she could, like, easily. She could have gotten caught, basically, in my opinion. <laughs> You're so great. <laughs> okay. Trying to turn this around here and it's not working. It's gone. But yeah, I found it weird how easily she could have gotten caught, but didn't. Like, she used the credit card, her friend's credit card. What? Like, yeah. No cash. Like, you want to stay know. off the grid. Like, they know they're look that like your friend. Yeah. So. The, the first third of the movie, I was really into it, and I was like, "What? what's with all these bad reviews? Like, this is okay. And then the second, and especially the third, I'm just like, oof, okay. Yeah, oof, oh, yeah, that was stupid. Or, ooh, ooh, that doesn't make any sense. So it it, uh, it gets progressively less realistic. But like I said, if you're drunk, if you just want to see Pierce Brosnan shoot a gun, you might enjoy this. Here's the thing. The other thing that I noticed during the movie was how many times Pierce Brosnan missed his shot. Yeah, he's this great yeah. hitman, except when it comes to killing me, the main character. Yeah. Which happens in a lot of movies, but this is... Th that was a comment by a lot of people, though. Like, during the trailer, like, he uses a bomb, like a grenade. Like, really? Like, why? Mm-hmm. Oh, when... Oh, my camera's heating up. You with your good, expensive, waste of money too camera. Yeah. Don't have to stop. It's it's also funny that we never really truly see him die. Yeah, he just falls off a bit. Just falls off. Uh, that's that's it. Oh, and he's this great sniper. And what's the thing that they need him for at the end? Shoot the New Year's Eve giant ball in New York. What's up with him and shooting balls? Well, hold first up. The biggest <laughs> target ever. He, he, sh he shoots balls. He shot the one on the top of that roof, too. Oh, he did, yeah. But, okay, but it's a, it's a huge target, that big ball. They needed him to do that? But you so. don't need a sniper for that. Like, you can't miss. It's a big ball. It's not like one person. I didn't get that. Here's the other thing. So they need something to fill it with? Is that right? Yeah, explosive okay. gas or something, I don't know. 
so explosive. Yeah, it's a, it's a gas because it heats up with all the bulbs and all that. Okay. So to cool it down, they used a certain chemical to fill it. And, okay. Yeah. So did the city of New York just not do a background check on these guys, or? Well, that's what it was about, sort of. That's yeah. Uh, it went through social. It, oh, that's we have what a, that was. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Okay, and I don't know. This bugged me, but that terrorist guy looked like Doctor Oz. Doctor Oz. Oh yes, he does. He's got the same jawline. He's got the hair, like the yeah. flip. I'm like, he so no, uh, like a foreign Doctor Oz. Yeah. No. <laughs> Just every time I saw him, I thought of that. I'm like, this is bugging me. <laughs> Anyway, so I would give this, honestly, like, one and a half stars out of four, but not because this is a horrible movie, just because it was kind of dull at times, and like I said, there's just a lot of real, uh, unrealistic and lazy uh, writing. What about you guys? I would graciously give it a two, because, yes, it was silly, but movies, like, nowadays aren't, like, the greatest, and this did an okay job wasn't that great, but yeah. I have to agree with John. Ooh. Give it 1.5. Jeez, harsh. Um, no, it was good. It was <laughs> just... It's good. One and a half <laughs> out of four. It's good, though. Um, well, it's almost halfway. Okay. It's, it's kind of like a, uh, I don't know, 30, 40 percent. Which, actually, you know what? It, uh, I mean, it's, it's better than the last two. <laughs> <laughs> Only the finest reviews. <laughs> and we stick by our opinion. <laughs> we're going through the plot and we were just like, wait, what, that happened? What? Yeah, I know. <laughs> he doesn't even know about the movie and he rates it. I'll give it a 50%. <laughs> yep. I have no idea what the hell just happened, but, you know... <laughs> James Bond was in it? What? <laughs> okay, so, yeah, so... I guess he appears to hold through my grading system. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was our review. <laughs> Take it for what it was. <laughs> <laughs> we survived through the movie. Let's yes. end it with that. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't. R but, Rotten Tomatoes, you're terrible. It yeah, didn't it was, deserve a zero. It yeah, didn't deserve a Not zero percent. I would say maybe 20, at least 20 percent, I think. I mean, what did Jupiter Ascending Wait, get? 1.5, okay. 4 divided by 1.5. Oh, God. If Not this good. got zero, Jupiter should be in the negatives. Jupiter Ascending should be in the negatives. Well, yeah, that's basically what I'm saying is like this. This, I was actually intrigued by the storyline a little bit. Yes, it had its moments, but... I, I didn't, like, yeah. It, at least it didn't have, like, bees in it. Weirdness, like, <laughs> stupid. Yeah. What I will say is it seems like that movie was kind of cheaply made. This Did one? you notice that? Like, it didn't have a lot of boom effects. I mean, it had, like, the helicopter thing or whatever at the beginning. But most of it was, like, a chase scene. So it wasn't really... I it feel it like, wasn't your normal action movie. Yeah. It kind of had a little bit of other stuff in it. Yeah, but, yeah. It, it, you're used to seeing Pierce Brosnan with a big budget in the James Bond movies, and this isn't even half the budget of a Bond movie, I think. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It's it's budget. not, but for the amount of time it seemed it took for November Man to this, I'm okay with seeing another movie yeah. with Pierce, and it, even if it's that quality, I'm okay with it. So. Oh, ready. Good. Rachel! No, just kidding. All right. She's oh. over there. Fix it. Oh, she's... Look, there's the doors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she can't see you now. Oh, thank God. <laughs> so good times. We got to get Rachel to join us next time. Should we call her? What a night. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for joining us. <laughs> we'll 
see you in the next one happens. <laughs> what he said. <laughs>